our entrance hymn beginning today. this Mass, we shall be praying for all your personal intentions. The Church celebrates today the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us first acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Immaculate Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all you love her. Rejoice with her joy, all you mourn over her, that you may nurse and be satisfied from her consoling breast, that you may drink deeply with delight from her glorious abundance. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river and the glory of the nations like an overflowing stream. And you shall nurse, you shall be carried upon her lip and bounced upon her knees. As of whom his mother confronts, so will I comfort you. You shall be comforted in Jerusalem. You shall see, and your heart will rejoice. Your bones shall flourish like the grass, and the hand of the Lord shall be known to his servants. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our response to God's word is, you are the great pride of our nation. You are the great pride of our nation. Together. 
Colorado. You are the great pride of our nation. O oh daughter, you are blessed by the Most High God above all women on earth. And blessed be the Lord God who created the heavens and the earth. Response You are the great pride of our nation. Your hope will never depart from the hearts of men as they remember the power of God. Response You are the great pride of our nation. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to you from the Lord. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. At that time there was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus also was invited to the wedding with his disciples. When the wine ran out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what does this have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. And his mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. And Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the feast. So they took it. And when the master of the feast tested the water, now become wine, and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and when people have drunk freely, then the poor wine. But you have kept the good wine until now. This, the first of his signs, Jesus did at Cana in Galilee and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The first miracle of Jesus taking place at a wedding. A very clear indication how the presence of Jesus in any situation or circumstance can make the difference. Perhaps we take too many things for granted, my dear brothers and sisters, and therefore all the more reason and the need for us to really feel and experience the presence of Jesus in our lives. We celebrate today the feast, the memorial of Our Lady of Luz. I had the good fortune of being there twice. And there is something that moves you when you are at the grotto and when you go to be dipped in that holy water. Something that transforms you, something that touches your life and you're never the same again. I had taken my youngest niece and she's got long beautiful hair. And when we were waiting in the line for our dip in the water, there was a big queue because there's a separation of men and women. And I could see that the women's section was equally crowded. And still awaiting my turn, I just happened to turn around and I could see my niece standing behind me. And I said, what happened? Have you finished? And she said, yes, a kind lady saw me sitting there 
and she says, my girl, are you alone? Come in the front. And she took me in and she finished her dip. What amazed me was, you have a full dip in those waters. My niece with this long, beautiful hair that she has, came out within seconds absolutely dry. One looking at her would never have ever imagined that she had the dip in that water. Something amazing happens there, my dear brothers and sisters. Before you step into that water, something transforms you and touches you and you're never the same again. Our Lady makes a big difference in our lives. Perhaps she's been the most misunderstood figure because people who have break, broken away from the Catholic Church, some of those belonging a few other denominations, just keep questioning us, questioning us and ask us, why do we have her statues all over the place? Why is it that we worship Mary? We don't worship her. We venerate her. And we believe that she has this important role that has been given to her by God and by the church to be an intercessor on our behalf, to take all our requests to her son Jesus so that Jesus can take them to the Father. Today's gospel is a clear indication. Very clearly she tells the stewards, do whatever he tells you. And that's the key line we should remember. That is the role that Mary plays as intercessor. Do whatever he tells you. And when we listen to what he says, great things happen in our lives, like this first miracle that he performed. I pray that each one of us, my dear brothers and sisters, through the intercession of Mary, our Blessed Mother, may always be led to the care and protection of Jesus, our loving Saviour. I offer to him, humbly we come before your face, O Lord. Humbly we come before your face, O Lord. Take his gifts we offer you. Humbly we come before your face, O Lord. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may, by your grace, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends you've done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim... Holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy. These gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we claim your death, O Lord And profess your resurrection Until you come again Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven And as we look forward to His second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession, in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Our communion hymn, Lay Your Hands.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine be available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. And may the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our recessional hymn, Holy Virgin. Wishing everyone a very happy feast. Wish you the same, Father.